Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add audio content to your Blackboard site. One of the nice things about Blackboard 9.1 um, is that they've made adding lots of different multimedia content very easy. So I'm in a course content area right now in my course documents. Um, in my Actually, I'm in my week one folder in my course documents. Let me start from scratch. I'm going to go into my course documents. I'll select week one because that's where I want to put it, and I do recommend that you put things in folders. It makes things uh, easier for everybody if you organize your stuff. Um, and I'm going to go into build content and one of the options here is audio. So I'll click on audio. And now I've got this uh, more help button up at the top if you have any questions about what sorts of files you can add. So if I click on the more help button I'll see um, what sorts of files I'm allowed to uh, post in the audio area and I've got a list here of possible extensions so you can post an AIF file, um, an ASF file, um, all these different types. And uh, MP3s will work just fine, WAV files will work fine, and WMA files, WMV files will all work fine. Those are the typical types. So I'm, I have an MP3 file that I'd like to post. Um, just keep that in mind when you're posting things that um, there may be trouble um, in certain browsers retrieving the audio if people don't have the right plugins for them. Most um, browsers have an MP3 player. So let me go to Browse My Computer to find a file. And I've got an MP3 file here. And I'll hit Open. And now I have a bunch of different options. I can make it auto start or loop. I don't want either. I can permit views, users to view the content, which I want. Um, I can track the number of views, which I don't care about. And these are all the default settings. If you want to change them, you can. And I can also select the uh, date and time restrictions if I like. And I'll hit submit. And once it's loaded up, you'll see that a player is automatically embedded in your page. And I can hit play. And that's the way that you add audio to your Blackboard site.